Let's add some cool paintings to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom paintings to Minecraft. Now, this is an exercise that is a fairly straightforward, all things considered. So what we want is we want our custom painting motifs to be added to the rotation for paintings. Now, how do we do this? It's actually not that complicated. In our tutorial mod package, we're going to right click new package called painting. And inside of there, we're going to right click new Java class called the mod paintings class. And this one will have a very similar structure to what we've seen before, because this is going to have a public static final deferred register of type motif in this case. And this is going to be called painting underscore motifs. And this is equal to the deferred register dot create or registries dot painting types, comma tutorial mod dot mod ID. Now, all of the code is, of course, also available to you in the description below GitHub repository and individual gist as well. So you don't have to type everything out. But where there is a deferred register, there is also a public static void register method with an I event bus called event bus as a parameter. And then we're going to call the painting motifs dot register and then passing in the event bus. Making sure that we don't forget this, we are also going to call this right here. So more paintings dot register and passing in the event bus and then everything should be fine. And now we can add the paintings. How do we do this? Well, we're going to have a public static final registry object of type motif and this first one is going to be called marathon and this is going to be equal to the painting motifs dot register with the name so this is going to be marathon and then the second parameter is going to be a supplier of a new motif right here and the motif takes in a two integer parameters this is going to be 16 and 16 and i'll explain what those are in just a moment so the question is what are those numbers well this is actually fairly straightforward we can middle mouse button click on this and you see is the width and the height of the actual motif so this means the first one is the width of the motif and the second one is the height this is in pixels so the motifs that we have the marathon is 16 pixels this is exactly the size of one block so one block is 16 by 16. So if you have something that you want, you know, to be two blocks or bigger, then you can just work that out with those numbers. And we're also going to add another one. So we're just going to select this control C and control V to paste it in. And the second one is called family and family here as well, of course. And this one is actually 32 high. So this is just what we change in here. So this is just the number of pixels of the actual motif. Now they are registered, but they don't have any textures yet. So where do we add the textures? Well, they add them in the assets folder, tutorial mod textures, and then we right click a new directory called painting. Very important that this is written correctly. And then we're just going to copy over two of those ng files. So both of those textures. Now, of course, making sure that the names here match with the names right here. So this name has to be the same as this name, and then everything should work fine. Please note that the paintings are done by Starlot. So if you want to use those paintings in an open repository, please make sure to add this credits file or to add this, you know, credits right here. They're distributed under the CC by SA license. So just making sure that you follow the license if you want to use them in a open repository. But otherwise, this is actually all that we need to do to add those paintings to Minecraft. So let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft. As you can see, both of the paintings have been successfully added to the game. So this is pretty much how easy it can be to add them. You know, you have to, of course, you know, go down and just the, you know, it sometimes takes a little while, of course, until they show up, depending on how many well different paintings there are of the size. You know, sometimes you have to place down some, you know, helper blocks to basically get those done. But uh, there you go. So the paintings have been added successfully. And that's actually how easy it can be. Right, that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.